Hello friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and in this tutorial we are continuing with curved vein design that we were working on. In our last, last uh, step of the tutorial we had just designed the profile for our vein and let's just quickly have a look at the completed design and this is how it would look. So this is our last step and let's dive straight into the final step here. Let's select the sketch and make sure that we are in the power design workbench or switch back to the power design workbench and go for rib and click on ok that's ok and select the profile and click on ok so face it may lead to an error if following operation you can ignore that it doesn't usually come maybe there is a problem with uh, the the curvature maybe when you do it it wouldn't come and if at all you have a problem you can always comment below and uh, I can suggest you a better method or where you where you need to tweak it so select this rib here and go for insert and transformation feature go for circular pattern just hide this and go for complete crown select the reference element and give a 9 here click on OK and OK so that has uh, completed our vein design here and you can in fact uh, if you would like you can try tweaking the curvature so that must be where is it yeah it's here so you can double click on the sketch and if you move this if you you know if you try to move this maybe 10 mm the profile will be a little different you can also maybe give this as 40 so it would be a little different curvature will be a little different and you can exit the sketch and you can see that uh, that is being reflected on the design and it is reflected on all these uh, circular patterns so this was a simple tutorial on uh, the curved veins and if you would like an advanced tutorial and if you would like uh, to uh, give parameters and control all of this feature all of this uh, parameters like the le the thickness the depth of this and the radius of the cylinder and uh, so if you would like to parameterize the whole design and if you would like to make them inside certain parameters and drive them outside of the part body we can do that by using uh, by inserting parameters and relating it to the particular constraints so you just have to request that i hope you enjoyed this tutorial series thank you so much for watching subscribe and please stay tuned